Every product that Apple releases seems to become successful and hit the target, but the company is no stranger to weird products that either have never gone past the engineering stages or made it to the stores just to be quickly recalled. But the community often has even wilder ideas, so how about we take a look at Apple's craziest products that could never exist in this world. I want to start with uh, something simple, Apple Watch. We know it as the most popular smartwatch in the world world had the most popular watch in the world. Came out in 2014 and the market has never been the same since. But the idea for a wearable Apple device was born long before that. Here's an absolutely wild but super wacky iWatch concept. Yes, it looks like a bent iPod Nano 7 strapped in a wrist and you know what? It doesn't look that bad. It's got a selfie camera, a speaker, it even has Siri and FaceTime. But the strangest thing about it is the circular interface. Back then, no one thought about the honeycomb layer layout that Apple eventually ended up with, so this circular thing wasn't that much of a stretch. Another fun part about this concept is the lightning connector in the strap. Of course, that would have made the strap non-removable, but it's the thought that counts. Now, uh, have you ever heard about Apple Pippin? This collaborative project between Apple and Bandai promised to create a gaming console, but Apple pulled out due to disagreements and the console never saw the light of day. Years went by, Apple Silicon got announced, then the 24-inch iMac, and that made people's minds race. And with Apple's noticeable shift towards making Macs good at gaming, the next crazy concept looks a bit less crazy, introducing a gaming iMac. This one's got it all. RGB lights everywhere, even inside the Magic Mouse. By the way, the Magic Mouse is terrible in games. I have no idea why concept artists decided to use it, but the craziest thing is the bendable widescreen display. Not gonna lie, this looks kind of sick, but I have serious questions about the materials this Mac would have been made of. No aluminum, that's for sure. Plastic, too cheap for Apple. Anyway, this is a fun concept that unfortunately could never exist anywhere beyond people's dreams. Not gaming though, gaming on Macs is very much possible. And by the way, we have a video about that, so be sure to check it out. Remember Air Power? Yup, that charging pad that was supposed to intelligently charge your iPhone, your watch and your AirPods all at once, and even have cool animations. As we all know, it never came to fruition. The year was 2017. Now rewind the clock back in time to 2014 and the iPhone 6. Great phone with the average battery life, so this concept drops and shows a special dock for a quick iPhone recharge. Not exactly air power, but still. So here's uh, what's interesting about it. It not only has two displays that show weather and battery charge level, but it also replaces the battery in the iPhone instead of charging it. Wow, I'm speechless. I've never seen anything like it and I suppose never will. At least not from Apple. This thing is basically two things in one, a charging station, a smart home screen. The concept doesn't pay attention to this part of it, but I can see the potential for more features. This concept may seem like a far fetch to you, granted I feel the same way, but it's not always this crazy out there. Some concepts actually have some good ideas, like this numpad concept. If I recall correctly, this one surfaced right around that new 24-inch iMac, and its keyboard didn't have the numpad. For many people, numpad is a must, so it was just a question of time until something as wacky as this comes around. Apple luckily never did any anything like that, and despite the concept looking really cool and Apple-like, it's just a concept, nothing more. Recently, we made a video with all the upcoming Apple products in 2024. There was one change rumored for the new iPad Pro, namely slimmer bezels. Usually, even bezels all around are called bezel-less, but this is not the case with Apple. But that's not the point. As you already saw, the concept sometimes can be really strange, and this one is no exception. The iPad 3 concept. Look at this. This video is 12 years old, and I'm pretty sure it's a re-upload of an even older video, edge-to-edge -edge retina screen. This looks wild, especially when you factor in the year the iPad 3 got released was far from bezel-less, but this concept is. It also shows an ability to magnetically connect two iPads into one and use it like this huge screen with a small gap in the middle. Even today, this seems like an impossible thing to do, and I think we should all take our hats off to those visionaries that made this concept. And the best part, 
part is that in 2015, Apple patented this idea. But we are not over yet. The third concept feature is holographic functionality. This looks wild and Apple patented it too. Sure, holograms aren't exactly real or possible right now, at least not in this way. But again, it's the thought that counts. I think that the wilder the concept, the higher the anticipation. And that's exactly why the craziest concepts always revolve around iPhones in one way or another. And believe me when I tell you, that's where things get truly weird. For example, how about an iPhone with a projection display and a projection keyboard? This video went absolutely viral in 2013. Right after the iPhone 5 was launched, the phone transforms into projector and a keyboard. Please note that the concept shows it running a full Mac OS, which is something that even modern iPhones can do. Sure, it's all very clunky, but the idea itself is super fascinating. I would love to see something like this, and that's my biggest beef with these old concepts. They are too good to be true. Projector screen and keyboard on an iPhone is technologically possible, but then the battery life would be like a couple hours and the phone won't be water resistant and the sheer amount of moving parts. Right around the same time, another beast appeared, showing us the iPhone with the display extending to the sides of the phone. This happened years before Samsung showed their Edge phone. I know what you'll say, this looks terrible, and I agree, but as it always goes with these concepts, it's all about the idea. Because through concepts, people can channel their visions, and sometimes they do get wacky. This concept, for what it's worth, is based on an Apple's patent, so it's not completely fictional. Apple thought of this and decided not to do it, and I find it really fascinating. Now, want to see something ridiculous? Please beware, what I'm about to show you is not something a person in their right mind could come up with, and that makes the video even better. With that out of the way, parachute system for the iPhone. Apparently, someone saw a documentary about NASA and all those landings on Mars and thought, this is a great idea. What if Apple put a CO2 tank inside an iPhone and drilled holes on the corners so that the phone could stop itself from fall damage. And what if users would have to manually fill the tank with gas for it to work? That's genius. I don't know who thought of this, but it's brilliant. I love every part of it. This is what true engineering and forward thinking is. What do you think? In 2014, Apple filed its first patent for rollable iPhone screen. Well, not exactly rollable nor flexible, but it was the start. The fact that the company was experimenting with this tech was unsurprisingly enough to get people to draw the most ridiculous concepts. And in 2016 came this guy, the combination of rollable iPhone screen concepts. The display rolls out into a huge iPad-like screen and I absolutely love it. The guys behind it nailed the design of the unrolled phone with the sweeping curve of the screen to the side. Looks like if the iPhone 6 and the Galaxy S6 Edge had a baby. However, when the concept shows us the backside of the device, it looks unlike anything Apple would do. What are these arms and rails? This looks like a science fair project. Even though it's a cool idea, in reality, it would have been a disaster. But don't think that these concepts and patents are here just to make the video longer, no. They are here to be a subway to folding iPhones. Because this idea is not needed. Even inside Apple, people are talking about it. For example, recently, some leakers revealed that Apple was working on a foldable iPhone, but then switched focus to the MacBook with a foldable 20 inch screen. So in light of all this, the next concept doesn't look all that wild. iPhone 15 Flip. It has a nice ring to it. And the concept looks quite okay. It not only has a foldable front display, but also an additional miniature display on the back. This is a fun concept, and I would love to see something like that from Apple. No, really, I'm not joking. This is fun. Oh, and by the way, have you ever heard of the Apple Quick Take? This is a very old digital camera from Apple that came out in 1994. It was manufactured for only three years and didn't get much attention back in the day, but right now it can serve as a great subway to the lifelong question. How many cameras do you need? One like on the iPhone SE, two like on the iPhone 15, or three like on the iPhone 15 Pro? Well, how about seven? Told you we're getting wild. This concept of the iPhone 12 emerged in 2019, and it was truly something else. Seven cameras on the back, super rounded design, and a special back glass that completely hides the cameras. Isn't that perfect? Looks like a fashion piece to me. The back glass, by the way, also has a screen inside so that we could change the color of the back. This is proper weird, pretty much in line with all those self-landing iPhones. Apple surely knows how to excite 
inside their clientele. I don't think any Android manufacturer has so many crazy concepts. Anyway, no matter what people ask for, Apple will always do it its own way. Like people are waiting for some crazy stuff from iOS 18, but how much of that will we really get? To know the answer to that, be sure to watch our recent video about iOS 18, it's really fun. Thanks for watching and see you there.